Hey guys, I am a uh, total VCDS noob myself. Um, I use it in no enough to be dangerous, but I recently upgraded my head unit too. Um, I think I went from MIB2 to MIB2, but I went from the old base model 2016 Golf R um, five inch screen, I wanna say. It's the one with the matte finish. And I went to this eight inch screen with the two dials. Um, and I'm getting the same error. Uh, let me go show you the error really quickly. Uh, it's under 5F Information Electronics. I've got a couple here that I'm trying to sort through. Um, maybe putting in this code, uh, any click fault codes here. Maybe putting in this code to fix this error, the software version management error hopefully will will fix um, these other codes too. I got one for tuner satellite radio, why I don't know. Um, and sometimes I get a rear right bass speaker, but that's because I've done a full stereo upgrade. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go through the process here that um, you guys have been kind enough to outline just for anybody to know exactly where to go. So um, you want to select the control module from this screen. This is the beginning screen. You then want to go to 5F Information Electronics. You then want to go over here to Adaptation 10 under uh, Advanced Functions. And then you want to go to this drop down here. <clears throat> Sorry, my phone is terrible at focusing. And you want to scroll down to the first, I think, and only number that is IDE 025. Down, 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 down. Confirmation of installation change. I'm so sorry. This, there we go. This phone can't focus for its life. Select that. I got AF13. Um, so then I went over to that other site uh, that the post above this one suggested to um, put that number in and generate your own code. Um, and I got my own code, which I'll put in here in a, uh, momentarily. Uh, I'm gonna have to go over and check what it was because I forgot. <laughs> I will <laughs> have to stitch these videos together. Hold please. Okay, my new code is uh, 66C1. New value, 66. I don't know how important the space is, but it had one there, so I'm putting it there also. Um, uppercase, I'm gonna do that too. And hit do it. Uh, yes. Controller accepted the request. We'll now read the channel again. Fantastic. I'm gonna hit go back. Um, it didn't seem to read the channel again, but what I'll do is uh, I'll close the controller, go back, and then I'll go back into 5F information and see if I still have that um, error. So as I have two fault codes, and it looks like it's still there. So let me go back. And what I'll do is I'll clear the codes. <clears throat> Hit yes. Uh, fault codes have been erased. No fault code found. I don't believe that. <laughs> See you in a second. Hopefully, I really hope that's true. Uh, I didn't need to back out that far. But I'll go back in, select. Uh, practice makes perfect anyway. Sorry, this screen again. Once again, this. I'm going to focus 5F information electronics. And fault codes too. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty, no fault codes found. Oh man, I love you guys. Um, I, God, I love the internet for this reason. Uh, this stuff is so far beyond me, um, but I really appreciate everyone inputting their years of knowledge into that. Um, 
repository on BCDS. Because uh, I have so many codes right now. Um, I have a Daza swapped Golf R and it's just loaded with codes. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's how you do that. Um, hopefully that is helpful to other VCDS noobs like myself. Thank you guys again.